This is the new eighth generation of Vauxhall Astra, and it's completely different to before. We're gonna show you outside, inside, talk you through all the engines, tell you a bit about the electric version that's on the way, but before all that, make sure you're subscribed to our channel if you wanna see lots more new car reviews and reveals just like this, and go to whatcar.com for a great deal on your next car. There have been big changes at Vauxhall recently. The new Astra is part of a very heavy update to their lineup, and this makeover is similar to the significant one the Mokka received recently. And before that, we had an all new version of the very important Corsa as well. There's also another big update due for the Grandland, which we'll see in the UK later this year. But could these changes to the Astra be the most important of all? It's always shifted in big numbers for Vauxhall in a highly competitive class against other big sellers like the Volkswagen Golf and the Ford Focus. With competition particularly fierce, the new Astra will need to be better than ever to carry on appearing towards the top of the sales charts in the UK. So what's new with the Astra? Well, basically everything. It's got a completely different look to before and it's basically unrecognizable from the previous generation Astra. So the most noticeable change is down here at the front where it's got what Vauxhall calls a visor along the front of the car because this bit kind of mimics what you get on a helmet, doesn't it? And that's something we first saw in the Mokka and eventually every car in Vauxhall's lineup is gonna adopt similar styling to this. The Astra also gets this line down the bonnet on there, which is apparently a nod to voxels of the past, like the Viva. A black roof is standard on most trims to give a two-tone effect, which is similar to the Mokka, but if you'd rather have everything in one colour, then you can still have that as an option. A rejig at the back of the car has moved the badge and the model name to the centre. So overall, this is a very new look for the Astra, a design, Vauxhall is keen to stress, that was created in Britain. So is this now the best looking family hatchback? Tell us in the comments below. Things are very different underneath the new Astra as well because it sits on an entirely new platform compared to the old Astra. Now it actually shares quite a few of its parts with the Peugeot 308. And if you want to find out more about that car, then watch our walk around video by clicking on the link at the top of the screen. The alloys available in a new Astra are 16 to 18 inches in size, which is the same sizes that you could get in the old Astra, but now they all have a completely different design. There's big news in the Astra's engine lineup as well, because yes, you'll be able to choose from petrol and diesel offerings, but there's also going to be two plug-in hybrid versions that you can choose from as well. And further down the line in 2023, you'll also be able to include the fully electric Astra E in the mix. The conventional engines and hybrid setups will be shared with the new 308 and are likely to be made up of 108 brake horsepower and 128 brake horsepower 1.2 litre turbo petrols and a 128 brake horsepower 1.5 litre diesel. A six-speed manual gearbox will be standard on most Astras, although the plug-in hybrids will get an eight-speed automatic, which will also be an option on some of the other engines. So the outside is very different from before and the inside of the new Astra is also completely different. So it's got a much more modern look in here. You can see that you've got two 10 inch screens which are joined together, one for the infotainment system and one for the digital driver display. Now it remains to be seen what different screen sizes and looks you're going to get lower down the trim level. But this, what you're looking at here is the top spec Pure Panel Pro. And you also, regardless of your trim, get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, which is great. There's also a new slim steering wheel for Vauxhall. And how could I forget? You've got a new touchscreen infotainment system, but crucially, you have still got physical buttons for the climate control down here. And it's great that yes, you've got a new system, but you've still got that very easy and simple and safe way to quickly adjust the air conditioning while you're driving. You also have these new seats, which have been certified by a back health organization in Germany, apparently. And I can confirm that they do feel pretty comfy. Now we mentioned earlier that the Astra is built on an entirely new platform and it's actually a little bit bigger than it was before in some areas and one place where you can really sense that is in these rear seats. Now I'm just under six foot, the driver's seat is in my driving position and you can see I've got a relatively decent amount of legroom there, there's some space to spare for sure and headroom isn't cramped, I've still got a bit of clearance above my head if I sit up straight so overall in the back it feels relatively spacious. 
It's all changed in the boot as well, which has grown from 370 litres to 422 litres. That's a big increase and leaves only the Skoda Octavia as the one family hatchback that offers significantly more luggage space. And if you love the look of the Astra but need even more space, there's an estate version on the way too, called the Sports Tourer. There won't be any three-door versions of this new hatchback though. As for pricing, that's yet to be confirmed, but it's likely to start around £20,000 in the UK, rising to more than £30,000 for the plug-in hybrids. So that was everything you need to know about the eighth generation Astra. But now tell us what you think. Is this the best Astra ever? Make sure you leave a comment below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed to our channel to see lots more new car reviews and reveals just like this, because we've got them coming out every week. And if you're after a new car, go to whatcar.com to get a great deal.